The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 253, NASDAQ off 67, S&Ps off 11. If we get over and take a look at the S&P, what you're going to see here, folks, is that uh, bottom line on a daily, yeah, you pull back with uh, some volume. On the weekly, you got to a higher high with lighter volume. You failed on price. You failed on volume. What we did out here, we're not even talking about going into the August 1st downdraft, which it was going into, but if we did that, that's 447 million shares. You came in today with 239. We're going to do the smaller one, which was the highs of last week, which is 386. You closed under that with 280, 239. Bottom line, this now will make a run for the lower end of this consolidation, which is out, uh, down at the 273 number. We go take a look at the NDX 100. Same type of setup in the NDX. On the dailies, on the weeklies. NDX today come down with 25 million shares, which was a big expansion of volume uh, than the highs that were generated out here two days ago. That's on your daily. On the weekly, what do you have? You have monster failure. You were coming into 199 million shares. You did all of 104. Last week, you did 243. You closed under the low, under the high, rather. The high was 192.63. We are at 191.69. That is saying now it's game once again down to these June lows, which is the 169. I expect the volatility is going to basically pick up in this market after, you know, we've been up at these highs now for, for about six weeks, folks, okay? We had the downdraft about three weeks ago, but realistically, you've been up at these highs trying to bust through these highs for about six weeks. Haven't been able to do it. Each time you're going up on those highs, on the daily or the weekly or the monthly, you're dying on the vine. There's no more buyers up here. Each and every time, of course, that there's no bids in the marketplace, you have a downdraft. The downdraft is very fast. Gold. Gold contract wants higher price. And what that's going to be all about this coming week is going to be all about the U.S. dollar. If we take a look at the gold, first off, closed at 1494. Gold wants to get after this high. The high that was generated out here in September was 1566. We'll see whether we get an ABC structure on the way up. We very well may. And this is the first time that... We had the dollar move lower with conviction. Bottom line, dollar's at 97, 280, 274. And you can make the case that the dollar actually wants to get to 88. That's a long way down, folks. But what that's all about is that the euro, as well as the pound, have been down for almost three years. They're gonna, it looks like they're going to get that deal done over the weekend. They both want higher price. That high, higher price will equal lower price than the dollar. Look forward to seeing you Monday right here.